Hey Stephanie, so this is my video, my day three for Tech Camp. Um, I'm just kind of showing you the products and stuff like that and creating the video so you see kind of what I did and how I did it and all that stuff. So as you know, um, I'm doing blackouts, book snaps, and caption this. Um, so what we're looking at right now is the Christopher Columbus CRQ document that I started with um, for the blackout, as you can see. Um, it's a selection from Christopher Columbus's journal from Thursday, October 11th, 1492. And it's all a description of kind of what he saw when he landed in North America on that date and all of that. Um, so the blackout that I decided to do, let me just double check. There we go. So the blackout I decided to do was this one right here. Um, after a little work and a little, uh, um, a little, uh, keeping and getting rid of words and all of that stuff. Uh, I came to this one here. Um, it came out really well. I thought it was a really good idea. Um, and if I were going to use this, which I have every intention of using as, as an example, um, what I would do is I would pose the question to them, um, what is Christopher Columbus's point of view on the natives when he landed in um, North America and um, kind of use this as an example to show them what he thought of the natives that lived there and all of that sort of stuff. So um, that would be how I would use this example. Um, how I would use blackout though is I would try to have them focus looking for words that would answer the question of either point of view, bias, um, what else, uh, audience, any of those types of things. So that's how I would use this. This is the product. Um, the final product and the final example that I would use to kind of give the kids examples to and everything else. Um, so as far as the book snaps go, um, this is the example that I have. This is the document that I started with. Uh, this one is about the Boston Massacre. It is the testimony of Captain Thomas Preston, um, the British uh, captain that uh, was in command of British troops outside of the Customs House. Um, and his whole, <clears throat> excuse me, his whole perspective on it and what he viewed, what he thought happened on it and everything else. Um, so I might ask the kids what, you know, kind of what proves the bias of Captain Thomas Preston. Um, and they can definitely use this uh, as an argument right up here. I didn't highlight it, but um, that's definitely something they could use and something they could point out that he is a captain in the British Army. Um, but I highlighted some important things and I used a lot of hashtags here because I thought um, uh, I thought that was pretty funny. And, you know, I was uh, using um, book snaps or document snaps, maybe in this case. Um, but uh, it's about to go down. Uh, I highlight uh, town inhabitants were assembling to attack the troops. Uh, they woke up and chose violence as a hashtag. They got clubs. The colonists have clubs. Um, they're using the most horrid and cruel threats against the troops. Um, oops, I'm in big trouble. Found a bitmoji, created a bitmoji, and um, an officer and 12 men to protect. He sent an officer and 12 men to protect the sentry and the king's money, um, and so on and so forth. Just kind of these here. Uh, the unhappy affair took place without any loading in the pieces or in the muskets. Uh, he said he never loaded it. He said he tried to get in between the soldiers and the colonists and tried to ask them to go home. Uh, hashtag a likely story. So um, just kind of his perspective and uh, some book snaps and uh, hashtags that make that a little more entertaining and a little more hilarious. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry. Uh, last thing I have um, is this image. Caption this. Um, so this is the original image. I show my kids this image all the time. We talk about Paul Revere's bias and stuff like that. Um, so I think the captions that I've added in here will definitely help. Um, it's really simple. This took me like two seconds. Um, but you've got, please don't shoot, making them look like the victims, the colonists looking like the victims. Um, you know, the British looking very angry. Fire killed them all. And then this is something that my kids, without fail, always notice, always point out, and always ask about. So of course I have to add an add an uh, bleh, sorry add a hashtag in there uh, hashtag what the dog doing and you see a dog right down here just standing there not moving not reacting in any way shape or form that's something that the kids always notice and find absolutely hysterical so um, that's the product 
Um, my plan was to send you the um, the blackout that I made, and then this uh, this set of slides that's got the book snap and the caption. This. Um, so uh, if you want me to send you the original, so you have that those as well, let me know. I'll shoot you that. Um, but this way you have the uh, products that I'm making, and here's the video to kind of explain it and all that stuff. All right. Uh, that's everything I got. If you got any other questions, feel free to let me know. Give me a shout. Have a great one.